Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am going on a short trip to Washington DC. It's just like a two-day trip. Uh, we are taking a super early flight. Uh, I'm flying out of Boston. It's like a six o'clock flight. So we just finished all our security check and uh, baggage check in and everything. And we're just uh, grabbing a cup of coffee before we board our flight. So I'm going to keep you guys updated throughout my trip. So I just reached uh, DC some time back. Uh, my check-in is not until late afternoon. So I've dropped off my bags uh, at the place where I'm staying. And now I've come to uh, the main, like the central area of DC where all the monuments and all the museums and everything is. Uh, so my first stop is going to be the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. And um, the museum opens after 10 o'clock. So I'm quickly uh, grabbing a bite to eat. I'm here at this cute little French cafe called Le and I've ordered a bunch of things. I've ordered an avocado toast and uh, an order of pancakes and I'm obviously going to get some coffee. So I'm going to grab a quick bite here and then head to the museum. I've arrived at my first pit stop that is the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. It's super excited to go inside and explore it. Let's go. The Smithsonian Museum of Natural History is a must visit for people of all age groups. The museum has informative exhibits of aquatic and terrestrial life forms where you get to learn more about their evolution and adaptations. From sea monsters to giant T-Rex dinosaurs, their fossil and bone halls will absolutely blow your mind. You can also visit the butterfly pavilion and the insect zoo to admire the rich biodiversity. origins, ancient Egypt, genomics, geology, the exhibits here are endless. I recommend spending an entire day here to really be able to see the museum thoroughly. And the best part is that the entry is completely free of charge for everyone. Guys, the Smithsonian Museum took so much longer than what I anticipated. Uh, 
I spent about two and a half hours here already, and I think it'll take me like two whole days to actually explore the entire museum. So I uh, ended up seeing the sections that I thought were the most interesting, but I missed out on a few. So I'm grabbing a quick snack at the cafeteria, and then from here I'm going to be heading to the uh, the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, and all the you know the main attractions in uh, Washington D.C. So I'm going to. Uh, Head there after this. So I'll see you there. Built to honor George Washington, America's first president, the Washington Monument is today the world's tallest freestanding stone structure. You can admire the monument from outside or go right to the top. If you want to go to the top, make sure you arrive well in time to get the tickets, which are free but first come first serve. Guys, so I'm sightseeing here in Washington DC. You can see the Washington Memorial behind me. So I just uh, walked uh, down from there and basically uh, here you have this entire a uh, line of monuments. You have your uh, Washington Memorial, you have Lincoln Memorial, you have the World War Memorials. Uh, so these are like a bunch of different monuments and the best part is that you can cover all of them on foot because they're almost in a line, okay? So I started off here at the Washington Memorial and now I'm just going to walk by uh, if you can see I'm going to show you guys around uh, this entire line of monument stretches behind like that so uh, it's quite convenient for you if you're a tourist to just you know walk on foot and explore the entire uh, uh, stretch of monuments and also like the vibe here was so nice uh, you know all the streets around there's like food trucks and like ice cream trucks all these street shops uh, that have been set up and it's like super crowded lots of school and college students coming around to like i think it's just the end of the semester so like just the vibe of the whole place is awesome right now and today luckily the weather was just perfect so i'm literally roaming around without my jacket so i'm feeling amazing the Lincoln Memorial holds a 19-foot statue of Abraham Lincoln, America's 16th president. From here, you also get a beautiful view of the reflection pool and the Washington Monument. The National World War II Memorial honors the 16 million people who served as a part of the US Armed Forces during World War II. The memorial is located at the other end of the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool. It has a beautiful fountain, granite columns symbolizing unity amongst different states, and a freedom wall with 4,048 gold stars that pay tribute to American lives lost at war. Each star here represents 100 Americans. The Korean War Veterans Memorial is dedicated to the members of the US Armed Forces that served during the Korean War. While here, you also must see the Pool of Remembrance and the granite wall with the inscription, Freedom is not free. day of exploring Washington DC and it was so much fun but super tiring because I've practically been walking the entire day. Uh, so uh, I've wrapped up for the day now. I'm going to be heading back to the hotel in a while. So I have stopped by this cute little place called Ann Pizza. Uh, they have some really good rating online so I'm uh, trying their uh, pizza out. I've ordered their uh, chicken uh, chicken something. I'll drop the name of it later on. And, um, the uh, pizzeria is hardly like a five minute walk from the Lincoln Memorial. So if you're ever in the area, uh, it's a good place for like a quick bite. Let us taste. This was the first episode of my United States of America series. Stay tuned for the second part of the Washington DC vlog and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.